Is this possibly the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life? Maybe. But is it possibly the most epic thing I've ever done in my life? Also probably. How's it going everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal and this is my dog Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Hotel Prius makes its way through California. We have our usual days of good coffee, meals, oh, good boy. and find some epic knee injury recovery friendly walks to enjoy. We had an absolute blast. We left off our adventures having a day of preparations, restocking food, water, and gas, a quick stop to get our energy out at the park, and a shower to start our big adventure on a clean slate, as Hotel Prius would be taking on the lesser traveled off-roads of Death Valley. Oh my God, we've never done this before. We should just do it. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. That was weird. All right, camp, let's do this. Woo! Oh my gosh, look at that view. We gotta get out, camp. What do you think? Death Valley, known as the Land of Extremes, straddles California and Nevada. It's the largest national park in the lower 48, covering over 3.4 million acres. This drive is insane. Death Valley hosts landscapes ranging from snow-covered mountains, dunes, rugged canyons, and so much more. And we were just getting started. First on the agenda was to find a place to camp for the evening in one of their off-the-beaten-path dispersed camp spots. Okay, we are going to sleep in here tonight. Because it's free! Gotta find a way to level this out. Yes, we do. As usual, we prepped the car to sleep for the evening, mm -hmm. checked out the surrounding area with a walk around the site, and enjoyed the peace and quiet. We ate, read together, or at least tried to, um, can I read my book please? <laughs> until the sun went down, and it was time to retire to the Prius for the evening. It's chilly out there. Okay, lock the doors. All right, tonight I'm not gonna sleep with these because I want to wake up with the sun, I think. I might regret that. <sighs> we'll see. More face stuff. It is so dry here. If you're gonna do what I do, I highly recommend a satellite messenger. It's also an SOS, so like if I get into serious trouble, my coordinates get sent out, which also included insurance for emergency evacuation and stuff like that. That'd be smart. Okay, I'm coming back, camper. One, two, three. I'm coming. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, baby. This is why we didn't put up our shades last night. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Let's make some coffee. What do you think, coffee and breakfast? Let's fuel up before we get crazy. While we were getting our things together, our neighbor invited us over for coffee. Hi, Hi. Hi. everybody, this is Larry. <laughs> we can camp right here. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. I was asking Larry, because Larry took his Prius out here once, and he said he got stuck a couple times. The road to the ply is a little rough. Racetrack ply, you think yeah. I can make in my Prius? I think so. I would. Oh, 
are gonna try it. I've been wanting to go there since I was a little girl. Somebody will rescue you. Let me get a map. Larry showed us the best way to attempt this four by four only trail. Hey, take this map with you. So with our newfound confidence, we ate and then got the car ready to take the road less traveled. Or the road really never traveled by two wheel drive. Facing up the car. Please don't fall out. Yes. <sighs> Corner pocket. So we said goodbye to our friends and hit the road. All right, it's party time. Oh, I think we'll be fine. Uh, as long as there's no deep sand, this baby can make it anywhere. Oh, my. Blood damage. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this, but we went through three bars of gas and we're only halfway there. And if we're going on a really bumpy dirt road, we'll get stuck. So we're gonna turn around and drive another hour to get extra gas in case we need it. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's fine. It's all part of the adventure. Better safe than sorry. All right, thank God I turned around. Not only did we get extra gas, we also reduced drag, improving our gas mileage a ton by asking the people at the junction if we could leave our bike there. All right, round two, let's try this again. But this time, no bike, full tank of gas, and backup. But first, snacks. Mmm, that was good. Then, once again, we took the long drive deep into the lesser explored Death Valley. The drive is absolutely amazing, so we didn't mind too much. But we needed a quick leg stretch, and luckily there's an epic stop halfway to the playa. First stop and halfway to racetrack Playa is Yubahib. Uh, could be wrong on that. Crater. So this crater is one of the less visited spots in Death Valley, mostly because of how far it is from all the other major attractions. It was created by a powerful volcanic steam explosion around 2000 years ago and measures around 600 feet deep and a half a mile across. Say hi. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. All right, goodbye, crater. Oh, I was sweating, I had to put my hair up. We're not running the AC. Now this is when things start to get a little bit sticky. Here we go. Is this one of the dumber things we've ever done? Probably, but camper looks happy. Also quite possibly the most epic thing I've ever done. At this rate, we are going about eight miles per hour. And that's the fastest we can go. These roads are so gnarly. So we might get there in like four hours. Gotcha. Yeah, these roads are rough. Okay, so I wanna just straddle this. <sighs> I just went right over that. I hit something really hard under my car. The little Prius that could. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sweating because it's hot or oh my God, these roads are getting worse. That truck literally waited to see if I would make it. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Oh, shoot. That's a big rock. Ah, oh, we did it. Camper, we might be the coolest kids on the block, you know that? Oh, sh Yeah, I wish you could have seen that guy's face. He was like, oh, oh, Prius. That's where we're going. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, we freaking did it. I cannot believe we did it. Freaking made it. Okay. Whew. 
All right, while we are hanging out on the lake beds, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Jackery portable power station. So normally on long drive days like today, I will be either charging up my refrigerator battery or my Jackery, which is for all my essentials. And right now we're trying to conserve energy, but I do wanna make sure I have power just in case. That's one of my favorite things about power stations like these is that no matter where you are, off grid or not, you can have power as long as there is sunlight. So I'm gonna take my foldable solar panels and I'm gonna set them up. So while we're on the lake bed for a couple hours, we can come back and have power and not have to worry. And that I love. Especially when we're this far away from resources. We have partnered with Jackery, so if you'd like one for yourself, please use the link in my description as it really helps out Camper and I. We finally made it to the playa. What? This is amazing. All right, let's go find these rocks. This dry lake bed holds the mystery of the sliding rocks. What? That's wild. Look at that one. Some of these rocks weighing several hundred pounds. So how did they move all on their own, leaving these long trails behind them? It remained a mystery until 2014, when the lake was covered with a few inches of water and froze. The rocks became embedded with ice, where the wind would push them over a thin layer of water. That water eventually drying up and creating these tracks. Looks like these two had a little race. Camper, who do you think won? The mystery was solved, and it is absolutely fascinating. Cool, huh? We spent the next couple hours exploring, relaxing on the dry lake bed, and in true camper style, you found a stick all the way out here? I don't know how you do it. So we played some fetch on the way to check out the grandstand. <sighs> of course we have to come to the top. 360 view. All right, Camp, you ready to go back down? Yep. Yes, good boy. I got you, good boy. Great job. That's super cool. Hell yeah, we are charged back up. I'm burnt and dirty. We need a shower, but we need to get back first. <laughs> I think like almost 100 miles to go. Happy boy. Oh, we better get out of here before the sun goes down. You hear that? Something's dragging. What well, does not sound good? Oh, that's it. This is all it is. <laughs> well, at least it's just the plastic. You can hear it while I'm driving. Whatever. We'll just duct tape that later. <laughs> well, we really screwed up the Prius on this trip now, didn't we? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're gonna go into this hotel and see if we can buy a shower. <laughs> Nothing compares to a shower after Death Valley. <sighs> All right, this looks good. There's a few people around us, but. I was so hungry because I didn't eat today because I was so nervous. Oh, I forgot to film what I ate. <laughs> Can you guess? Drum roll, please. Bag salad, duh. With the mouth cut carrots. <sighs> that was a big day. It's time for bed. Nothing sleeps better than a camper after a big day of adventure. Oh, good night, camper. I love you. Good night, everybody. Stay tuned for next week's episode as we explore the more touristy side of Death Valley. 
and find out if we did any long lasting damage to the old Prius. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all.